The ocean's bounty once seemed endless. All that sea life relentlessly reproducing, creating beauty and amazement and millions of tons of food. Those in the fishing industry often touted the idea that what we took out of the water was but a drop in the ocean. 2% at most, quickly replaced. The world's fish catch grew until 1996, the year of peak catch, when numbers reached their maximum. In the 20 years since, fishing technology and boats have improved. We actually have been trying harder to catch more fish. Yet despite this increased effort, we have caught fewer tons of fish. So if you have an increasing fishing effort, and a decreasing catch, it means that uh, the world fishery resource are going to hell in the handbasket. Between 1950 and 2010, the reported global catch was more than three and a half billion metric tons. But the true catch of the world is a staggering five and a half billion metric tons. That's 50% higher than we thought. It means almost 2 billion metric tons of fish have been removed from the ocean without our knowing. 50% more, and that it declines uh, very rapidly. The numbers themselves are enormous, but more importantly, the research reveals that our global fish catches are precipitously falling, three times faster than we thought. Our estimate of the decline is about three times what you would estimate from the reported catch. A catch that is declining cannot be seen as sustainable. Because if sustainability means you can do that a long time, obviously you cannot have a long time a declining catch. Daniel knows that safeguarding this food supply hinges on accurate data. Getting it wrong can lead to disaster. 